If you guys want to be able to dribble like this, whether you're ice wing on a low three point build or taking screens on a playmaking shot creator, drop a like on the video right now. Because in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys not only the best settings, badges, tips, animations, but I'm going to be showing you guys step by step exactly how to do all of these dribble moves in a complete dribble tutorial. So drop a like on the video right now, subscribe to the channel, and sit back, and I guarantee you by the end of this video you will be a better dribbler at nba 2k22 what is good youtube it's your boy henry aka hdf and i am back at it with yet another banger in today's video oh i got a banger for you guys i'm going to be showing you guys a lot of drill moves in this video whether you're a play shot whether you have a low ball handle high ball handle i'm going to be showing you multiple animations that you could use i'm going to be showing you exactly how to dribble step by step so like i said drop a like on the video right now subscribe to the channel if you guys are new now one thing to point out is that this dribble tutorial works for current gen and next gen because next gen and current gen have the same engine they are the same exact dribbling it's the same gameplay so this will be you know current gen obviously but if you play next gen this dribble tutorial these animations are the exact same you know way to do them and the exact same animations and everything so either if you're on current or next this dribble tutorial will be very helpful i'm going to be showing you a bunch of moves that are in this game whether it's a, there's three different ways to quick stop i want to be showing you guys the new 2k17 step back that's back the ai step back i'm going to show you a new version of the speed glitch it's not obviously the speed glitch but it's a very fast speed boost that you're going to need especially as a playmaking shot creator the explosive behind the back a bunch of crab animations as well basically just a bunch of drill moves that you are going to need in nba 2k22 and as you can see i'm cooking up now in a couple of these clips um i'm using different animations now you got to remember i don't I get like an 84 ball handle with this build. So I'm also going to show you guys how to dribble with a play shot. Like in the beginning, you saw a play shot dribbling and it's my core in the park a little bit. He was moving very fast. I'm going to show you how to dribble like that as well. So once again, drop a like, sub up. We're going to show you guys everything from, from settings, badges, tips, your my core animations and controller cam dribble tutorial. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And if you guys have any questions about dribbling in NBA 2K22, make sure to DM me on, on Twitter at double H underscore YT. Anyways, let's get straight into this video man let's get it okay y'all so we are going to start with the settings the best settings for dribbling in nba 2k22 so what you're going to want to do click start doesn't matter if you're next gen or current gen we're going to start with just the regular settings right here and this doesn't really have to do with dribbling but just make sure your shot feedback is on all shots and that's really it for this one you can turn off your menu music if you want to but yeah there's not really any controller settings in there but where all the dribbling settings are at is controller settings right so you're going to want to put your vibration on um pro stick function put this on dribble moves okay now unless like you want to dunk with the right stick you know what i'm saying you don't have to put this on dribble moves even i was right dunking with the right stick i might take this off because i probably want to you know do some reverse dunks but if you put this on dribble moves only you'll be able to do the rhythm dribbles and eventually when they release that 2k19 rhythm dribble in a season reward you're definitely going to want to be able to use that one because it's definitely going to be very overpowered so yeah if you want to be able to do rhythm dribbles make sure your pro stick function is dribble moves only otherwise it's just going to make you pump fake and then make sure your pro stick orientation and your off ball offensive mode are both on absolute and then besides that you should be good to go those are really all the controller settings you're going to need for dribbling it's really as just simple as that all right now it is time to look at the best badges for dribbling now lucky for myself i don't have all my playmaking badges but i have 18 out of 20 so i've actually tested a lot of these playmaking badges so i'll be able to tell you which ones are good and bad now don't get me wrong i love angle burger the only reason i don't have this on is because um as of right now and this is probably gonna be passed by tomorrow actually if you break someone's angle in a game there's like a really good chance that someone in the game lags out and it could be yourself so i didn't want to get an l off that so i just took off angle barrier completely anyways the most important dribbling bad is 100 hall of fame quick first step or goal whatever you get quick first step number one then handles for days and then quick chain quick chain basically just makes your dribble moves faster quick first step y'all know what that is handles for days you know you lose less energy when you dribble now hyperdrive 
this is one of those badges that i tested and it's not as good basically this is kind of like a downhill badge but like it makes your drill moves faster so i want to use this unless you're playing threes then i have unpluckable definitely gonna need a needed badge if you don't have unpluckable on you probably get ripped a lot especially if you have a low ball handle and then i have bailout and bullet passer just for passing badges everything else i don't really need for dribbling like space creator i could test out but i don't really need triple threat juke because i'm not a spot up um stop and go not really needed so be besides the badges i have on the other good badges are probably ankle breaker and space creator besides that for dribbling wise unless you're on the threes with hyperdrive there's nothing that you know you really need nothing's like a need you know what i mean so those are definitely the best playmaking badges for nba 2k22 now a couple tips for um you know dribbling better in nba 2k22 especially in the park basically if you're at the top deck on the cruise ship i don't know where this is in next gen park but make sure you go buy boost there's also boost in the stage i'm pretty sure there's boost a boost stand in the stage on next gen as well make sure you buy playmaking boost it's gonna make even just lob passes go through more it's gonna just make your dribbling better you're not gonna get ripped as much make sure you buy playmaking boost that could help a little bit you don't have to it's not like a must it's not like a must like jump shot boost but that could definitely help as well another thing you're gonna want to do after you buy your playmaking boost is there's one more thing that i'm gonna give you all for a tip is basically we're gonna go to we're gonna go to deck 15 we're actually gonna go to the uh gatorade facility now this is where you're gonna do your drills to get your plus four and speed acceleration uh strength all that stuff so yeah there's a bunch of drills that you can do here there's some drills that are easier than others but yeah basically it's just gonna you're just gonna lose less energy you know you can get plus more stamina speed um make your player faster right uh, acceleration when you hold the right trigger you're gonna be faster as well it's just, you're just gonna be a faster dribbler if you get your gatorade uh stuff done so yeah if you want to do that if you really care about that definitely make sure you get your gatorade drills done now another thing to point out this doesn't really have to do with dribbling but it, this is like an icon that is underneath your player when you do dribble or shoot if you go to your my player and you go to jump shot splash this is actually where you can not only customize like your green animations but you can customize this little icon under you where you dribble so you can either have a basketball or a flame and you can actually pick a bunch of different colors there's red blue green yellow purple orange I picked red and I'm, I've been using the flame ever since I found this. So yeah, that's just another little cool thing that you could put on that just, it's, I don't, it doesn't really do anything. It's just kind of like a graphic. So yeah, it's kind of a little icon under you um, that you unlock at a certain level. So yeah, once you get to that level, which is actually level 10, then yeah, you could just equip that right away. Now, the last thing we have to do is go show you guys these animations and get to the my course. So the my court is going to be under uh deck eight on current gen i'm not you know the my core on next gen y'all probably know where it is I, I i'm not exactly sure where it's at you get to just just get to your my court and what you're going to want to do is is practice your drill moves in here now we're gonna show you guys how to do every single drill move in the my core here but before we do that we're gonna have to go over the animations that you're going to need to equip so make sure to drop a like on the video right now subscribe to the channel if you guys are new i'm about to show you guys the best dribbling animations whether you are um a, a, whether you have a high ball control or a low ball control so we're first gonna go to the animation store because i'm gonna show you guys two drill moves that i don't have unlocked yet now i'm actually gonna show you guys my progression right quick currently i have an 84 ball control so i need an 85 ball control to unlock the drill moves i'm about to show you so i'm right below it. i'm gonna obviously get it once i even get to 96 overall so and right when i get to 96 overall i'm gonna put these um animations on so i'm just gonna make sure you guys are aware of that so the first one is gonna be signature size up the signature size up that i can't get right now that i would get if i could is derrick rose so if you have an 85 ball handle or more use derrick rose another one that's good under signature combos that i cannot unlock yet Kyrie irving i'm definitely gonna be using this one when i hit 96 overall so yeah if you have an 85 ball handle or higher use Kyrie irving as your signature combo but anyways let's go ahead and go to my actual animations and even with my actual animations there's gonna be multiple drill moves that are good and not good so you're gonna have to uh, i'm gonna have to explain to you guys what your options so don't just screenshot and copy down these are my drills by the way these are my dunk packages if you want to copy these down i know some of you guys want them those are my dunk packages make sure to drop a like on the video if you guys want the jump shot i get a lot wait 
I'm gonna have to make a video on that jump shot. But anyways, these are my dribbles. Now, dribble style, you can literally go with quick or power. It does not matter. It's really just personal preference. I'm gonna use quick. Either one is good. Just use one of them. Do not use any other dribble style besides quick or power. Now, signature size up, you can go with or like i said the signature size of i want is derrick rose but i don't have a bit good enough ball control right now so if you don't have an 85 or more ball ball control go with zach levine that is the second best option signature combos once again i would want kyrie irving for this but i do not have an 85 ball control or more so if you have lower than an 85 ball control use james harden that is definitely the best signature combo available to you right now now size up escape package this is where it gets interesting okay there's only two options in my mind for the size up escape package and that is lebron james and kobe bryant do not use any other size up escape okay now i'm going to tell you which one is which now lebron james is going to give you the ai step back okay now the ai step back is that big step back that i do um when i'm ice swing right so if you want to get that and you're an iso player equip a lebron james now if you're more of like a play shot i'd recommend kobe bryant now with the kobe bryant one it gives you this big crab animation and yeah you don't get that with the lebron one the lebron crab animation is not very good but with the kobe one this is the animation where you get that huge crab animation and your step back is not the big hop back but it's just a little step back anyway so yeah you could choose between those right now i have lebron on but i'd be going back and forth between these two but yeah right now i'm using the ai step back so i have the lebron james size of escape package anyways the moving crossover stephen curry it's definitely the best moving crossover in the game wouldn't suggest any of the other ones yes i have and by the way i have other dribble moves bought just because i was testing all these dribble moves to see which ones were the best ones and watching other people to see what they were using but anyways moving behind the back yeah, I was really struggling finding the good moving behind the back. Um, I had Damian Lillard on for a bit. That one's not too bad. But now I'm using Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard gets you down the court a lot faster. And it's good when you're driving to the basket, especially if you're an ISO player like myself. Moving spin Kawhi Leonard. This is the only spin that gives you that like good spin back. Now, spin, spin backs are a little, uh, really weird this year. Sometimes they don't work. Sometimes they do. But the best spin back is Kawhi Leonard in the game right now. I'm pretty sure they'll probably have some better ones um when we get later in the seasons because obviously you guys know that a lot of these drill moves are not unlocked yet like we don't even have the curry side in park yet so there's gonna be a lot of drill moves that aren't even in the game right now that's why i'm gonna make seasonal updates for dribble tutorials so make sure to subscribe and turn on notice for those seasonal update dribble tutorials anyways the best movie hesitation is not even close it's kevin durant this is the same one from 2k21 current gen that all these stage play shots use so yeah kevin durant by far the best moving hesitation then we got the moving step back this is a must i don't care if you're an iso build i don't care if you're a play shot i don't care if you're a center if you can get this moving step back kyrie irving get it this is the 2k17 step back and i'm also going to teach you guys how you know after this step back it gives you a couple little crossovers i'm going to teach you guys how to get rid of those crossovers and just go right out of the step back just like a 2k17 anyways triple threat styles you can go with normal seven normal two or normal one it really doesn't matter i have normal one on right now park flashy passes i do not have any on once again you can screenshot these drill moves you can change this out for kobe bryant um other than that most of these drill moves should be a must except for once again the signature size of a signature combo based on what your ball control is and then obviously dribble style you can go either way with power and quick but yeah those are my dribble animations now let's get into the complete dribble tutorial now right before i get into this dribble tutorial you can either practice on the shoot around or another one that's really good to practice on is the personal workout one um where it's like a 1v1 with an nba player you can invite them to your my court i would suggest doing this one but just to show you guys these drill moves i'm just gonna go into the shoot around all right so the first move i'm gonna teach you guys how to do is the 2k17 step bag right so basically all you're gonna want to do is let's say i have i'm running to the left right you're gonna hold the right trigger run to the left with your left stick and then you're just gonna while holding the right trigger flip flick your right stick down simple as that running to the right hold the right trigger and flick right stick back running to the left same thing right stick down it's not that hard now as you can see sometimes if i flick the right stick down it'll give me these little dribble animations and now i'm stuck in them right you see this so i do it right and then i get this little like crossover like double crossover now you can either let that animation play out right and get a little boost off of it like that 
or if you want to hold the left stick immediately once he does the step back move it move the left stick up immediately and you can just go right out of the 2k17 step back um immediately instead of waiting for the two crossovers now if you don't hold the left stick up at the right time those crossovers will just play out so you have to make sure to hold it at the right time now next i'm gonna be showing you guys the new speed and it's not like a speed glitch but it's like a really overpowered speed boost that and if you guys saw in the beginning clip the play shot was doing it now this one is basically you're all you're gonna do let's say your ball is the ball is in your left hand right you're gonna hold the right trigger and then you're gonna hold the right stick up diagonal opposite ball handle up so diagonal up right and as soon as you do that right right after you do that you're gonna hold the left stick and run right after that animation plays out so i'm gonna hold it then i'm gonna run and then uh, obviously uh, vice versa if the ball's in my right hand i'm gonna hold the right trigger hold the right stick up diagonal left and then i'm gonna run so yeah that's how you do it it's actually very overpowered it's a lot faster if you're on a play shot right now i'm on a six five two-way slashing playmaker and um, as you can see by some clips on the screen, I have been killing dudes with this move. And you can combo this up with some crossovers or stuff and just literally spam this up the court. And you can actually just go crazy. But yeah, this move is literally unstoppable. If you don't have this move in your arsenal right now, you are definitely missing out. Anyways, the next move I'm going to do is the AI step back. Now, obviously, you need the LeBron James signature size up on. So if you don't have that on, then make sure to equip that. Basically, let's say it doesn't matter if the ball is in my right hand or my left hand. Hold the right trigger and just hold the right stick down. Simple as that. Let's say I drive in. I just stop holding the left stick and then I just hold the right stick down while I'm holding the right stick. So, yeah, you can just if you're driving, you can all of a sudden get it out of nowhere um so yeah this is definitely a good move if you're an iso player if you're like a play shot i wouldn't recommend this um but yeah you have to make sure that you hold the right stick down and flick it down when your player like comes to a complete stop on its feet almost you know what i'm saying but yeah this is definitely a good move to hit people with um if they're expecting your drive and then you just hit them back and you pull that shot simple as that but obviously, you know, you're probably going to want to make it. Now for this next animation, I'm going to be showing you guys the Kobe Crab. So what I have to do, since I have the LeBron size up on, I actually have to put on the Kobe size up because you can't do this move unless you have the Kobe um, size of escape package. Now, another thing I want to show you guys with this Kobe size of escape is that speed boost I was just showing you guys that uh, that's really fast on play shots and even on my build. It looks a little different, so I'm going to do it on this one as well. It's, yeah, see, it looks a little different because the crossover you know what i'm saying so if you have the kobe one on it's gonna look a little different you're gonna be a little higher up um with your dribble with the lebron one you're more like low to the ground you know what i'm saying but either way it's fast as heck you know what i'm saying but yeah the kobe crab move basically all you're gonna want to do is let's say the ball is in your right hand you're gonna hold the right trigger and then hold the right stick up diagonal left and boom Let's say the ball's in your left hand. You're gonna hold the right trigger and hold the right stick diagonal up right. And that's how you do it. You can literally spam this move. This is very good for crabs. Um, and you can even like spam it back and forth and get this like 2K16 crossover kind of thing, 2K15 kind of thing. I don't know if you guys remember that, but look at this. Oh my, oh my God, I'm moving, I'm moving, moving. <laughs> that's kind of weird but anyways yeah you can spam it it's definitely a w move but i mean when you're dribbling around and you want to get like a crab you know with a play shot and a screen or something it's definitely a w move to do you can even get crabs on iso with it but yeah i would definitely recommend using this move if you're not going to use the ai step back 100 now another thing to point out with the kobe um size up is that the ai step back let's say you know you're saying okay why can't i do the ai step back on the kobe this is what it looks like that step back instead so instead of that big leap you get this step back instead which really isn't like that bad um to be honest like i might go back to this kobe one but yeah if you want the ai step back then use lebron but kobe you can get this this little crab and you'll get instead of the ai step back you'll get this step back right here now the next thing is the rhythm dribble now once again this ribble rhythm dribble i have on right now is like not like crazy overpowered if you guys remember in 2k19 there was this huge rhythm dribble that's going to be back in 2k22 it's just not out with the seasonal rewards 
if you dribble with Kyrie and like blacktop it's available to use but anyways it's going to be available eventually so i want to teach you guys how to do a rhythm dribble so basically make sure your dribble moves are on or your right stick or your pro stick function is on dribble moves only and basically you're going to hold the right trigger and just hold the right stick up and this little animation is going to play out now eventually when this overpowered rhythm dribble comes back come back comes back to the game that was in 2k19 basically you're going to hold it up and at a certain point you're just going to let go and it's going to speed boost out now this one isn't that bad like if you this one you can actually like kind of speed boost out of look at i can get like a little crossover let the animation play out a little bit and i could just literally speed out of it watch so look at i can let it play out do it again let it play out and just like get a little speed out of it and either i can go crossover and then go out of it or i can literally just attack the rim but look at how fast i can go out of that move like it's actually not a bad um thing to use especially if you're an iso player definitely take advantage of those rhythm dribbles especially later in the year next is going to be the kevin durant hezzy it's the same as 2k21 current and let's say i'm running to the right you're just gonna run with the right trigger and just flick the right stick to the right if you're running to the left you're gonna hold the right trigger and flick the left stick to the left so yeah this is um obviously not as good for me right now because i only have an 84 ball control but once i can speed boost off rip like this is going to look a lot better um it's going to look just like the 2k20 uh two current gen one but yeah that's uh the best hesitation in the game by far next is the explosive behind the back it's the same thing as 2k20 um one current gen basically flick the right stick up like that little hesitation we were just doing so the hesitation kevin durant thing that we we're just doing when you flick the right stick to the right right after you flick the right stick to the right you're going to hold the left trigger and right after you hold the left trigger you're going to let go of the left trigger and point the right stick down down diagonal right and then hold the right trigger to run the left right kind of confusing but i'm going to have some stuff on the screen so flick the right stick to the right and then diagonal down hold on hold on and then diagonal down right left trigger right stick or right trigger and boom kind of explaining it kind of weird but let's say i'm going to the left you're gonna flip the flick the left stick to the left for the hesitation then you're going to hold lt flick the right stick down diagonal right and then let go of lt and hold the right trigger and the left stick to run right so boom 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 and you could just keep doing this back and forth now this is way faster if i can speed boost in the my court um with a higher ball control but um y'all get the gist if you're on a play shot this is going to be way faster but yeah that's what it looks like now one one of the last dribbles i'm going to show you guys is the attacking behind the back so let's say you're an iso player and you're running straight down you're gonna hold the right trigger if the ball's in your right hand and flick the right stick down diagonal left so i'm gonna go right here and boom it's just going to lead me straight to the basket, right? And it's the opposite if you're if the ball's in your left hand and you're taking the basket, you're going to hold the right trigger and then flick the right stick down diagonal right. And it completely changes the direction I'm going, but it's at the same time, it's still getting me to the destination that I want to go, which is the basket, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm going to show you guys how to quick stop. I'm also going to show you guys how to do this in my jump shot video again, but there's three ways to quick stop in NBA 2K22. Now, either you can just let go of everything, just like 2K20 quick stop and shoot. You could do that. So let's say I'm dribbling, I'm dribbling, and then all of a sudden let go of everything. Now, obviously, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm really bad at this one. I, it always makes me fade. But if you do it correctly, you know, I'm not gonna sit here and attempt this until I get it perfectly. But if you do it correctly, um, it works, okay? Now, the second one, okay, is going to be the 2K21 current gen way, where let's say, I'm running to the right. You're going to hold the right trigger and flick the left stick to the left. And then right as you're flicking to the left, the right stick to the left, you're going to shoot the ball. And oh my God, I just realized I can't quick stop in the my court because I can't speed boost off rip in the my court. I can do it in game. I'll show some clips um, of me quick stopping, but that's not how I quick stop. Okay. How I quick stop in 2K22 is left trigger. It's the most overpowered thing. Okay. So let's say I'm running right here. Boom. I could just shoot right off of that. And I can actually do this without speed boosting too. Left trigger, boom, shoot immediately. You actually don't need a speed boost to do this quick stop. And it's the best quick stop. It's the fastest one. All you do is just literally, if you want a quick stop, click the left trigger, boom, shoot immediately. Simple as that. Hold the left trigger, boom, shoot. I'm going to show you guys some clips on the screen of it in game with this 6'5 two-way slashing playmaker. It's obviously going to be way faster 
um, with a play shot. It's definitely the wave. I'm not gonna lie. Anyways, hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to drop a like on the video. Like I said, I'm going to be doing seasonal updates on dribble moves, when they, especially when they release new dribble moves every season. So I can get, I can teach you guys how to do the new dribble moves that come out every season. Make sure to subscribe to this channel. Turn on notice when I go so you can get notified every time I go live and every time I upload another banger like this one. 1 million subscribers on the way. But anyways, y'all, it's been your boy Henry, aka HDF. And I'm out, y'all. I ain't Ooh. never had no friends. I was all alone. She ain't never called my phone. She left me on my own. They saying all girls are the same. Proud that they're my dumb. She said, can you stay with me? No, I got a girl. Diamond dripping off my deck. It's wet. I'm about to flex up on my